When I have picked my new laptop, I liked it for its looks and its specs, the size and overall features it had to offer. Except that it only had a single 1TB SSD for storage. Being fully aware of my usual demands for space on my computer, I knew it immediately that I had to upgrade. And so I did upgrade indeed, right in the store. Luckily the SSD I have picked was on sale, but what I have saved on the price I had to use right away for professional installation. But I have felt that the pro work was worth the price. However, the cloning work from the original 1TB SSD drive onto the new 4TB upgrade was a rather expensive extra. Jump forward, I've decided to install a secondary storage unit using the same identical SSD I have used for the C drive. Luckily, I found the same SSD on sale once again. Since I had no intention of paying that rather expensive installation fee once again, I've decided to do the job myself. But for that, I had to find the right tools, which I did. And this little kit wasn't even expensive at all. Only 10 bucks. Finally, I was ready for this little operation. Come on out, you little beauty. I've researched it and found out that I needed a special T6 type star headed screwdriver for opening the body, which was included in the kit. And here I am taking my new laptop apart. I have watched a video about opening the body with this tool. First I had a bit of difficulties with it, but then I've managed. For the SSD installation I needed to use a different head. The magnetic head base makes switching very easy. First we have to remove the SSD's holding screw. Then came the very simple and easy SSD installation. Going from 1TB storage to 8TB! <laughs> The physical installation is done, let's put it all back together. Here we go. After restarting your computer, go to Disk Management. It's gonna look like this, so right click on the newly added black storage, then create a new simple volume by following the prompts. After assigning a drive letter, D, and adding a name to the new storage, I've named it Predator, we are done. The new drive shows up in the file explorer and is ready to use. As you guys can see, I've already uploaded a ton of stuff onto my new D drive, and the C also has plenty of space for the operating system files as well as all the programs and apps. As it is obvious by now, the original 1TB storage was a joke. Now let's do a file transfer speed test by moving a large video file from an external regular hard drive onto the new SSD. We've got about 200 megabytes per second, which is pretty nice. For authenticity purposes, I left the process alone to do a complete demonstration of an approximately 11 gigabyte video file transfer. 
Of course, if we transfer small files, such as images or text and such, then the actual transfer speed will be significantly slower than this. Nice and easy, it gets the job done. Almost there. That's it. But now let's do a super test, copying a large file from the C drive onto the new D drive. Let's see that SSD speed. 2.5 gigabytes per second. Yup, that was it. Let's do it again. Eleven gigabyte file in five seconds. When I've decided to do the upgrade myself, I wasn't sure that I could do it, but as it turned out, the whole procedure was simple. The service kit worked fantastic and it gave me all the tools I needed. Even though I know very well that there are much faster SSDs out there, this brand for the price has fulfilled my expectations. So yes, I'm very happy now with the results. As always, thanks for watching. Hit, 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 hit,